okay, at this point we have a working web stack and we just need to layer Drupal on top of it. So first we'll do that by using a service called Bitnami. If we go back to the welcome page for XAMPP, I'm just gonna click on the Apache friends link here in the upper left hand corner and you scroll down, you see some links here and I'm gonna click on the Drupal one. This takes us to a location where we can download a Bitnami module that will take care of the entire Drupal installation process for us. So I'm going to scroll down to the Drupal section and notice that there's modules for Windows, Linux, and OS X. I'm on a Linux 64-bit system, and for each system, there's the last three versions of Drupal. So there's Drupal 8, 7, and 6. We're going to download Drupal 8. So I'm going to click on this download button right here, and I'll click the no thanks, just take me to the download. I'll click OK to save the file. Once it's downloaded, let's navigate to the folder. And again, we're going to change permissions on this. So I'm going to go to the command line, and I'm going to type change mod, chmod, 755, and then I'll drag the application over and hit enter. And now, as long as we've opened up Nautilus as the super user, we can just double click to open this up. Go ahead and select your language, hit OK, hit next. You should be able to leave this folder as is to match up with the current XAMPP stack. Click next. And here we're going to set up the administration account for Drupal. So it's really important that you take note of the login and your password. So I'm going to fill this in. Feel free to fill this in with whatever you'd like. And when you're done, click next. I'm just going to give this the name test Drupal 8 site. And I'll click next. Here we can set this up for development or production. In the production settings, file permissions are a bit more restrictive. And that will add an extra layer of security. I'm going to assume that you're setting this up for following along with the videos, so I'm going to select development settings, which are a bit more permissive. I'll click next. I'm going to uncheck this to avoid opening up a browser, and I'll click next, and next one more time. When you're done, click finish. Ideally, your Drupal site should have just opened up, but if it didn't, go ahead and jump back to the browser, and go back to localhost, and click applications, and you'll now see the Bitnami Drupal module listed here, and click Access. And here it is. To make sure you have your credentials right, go ahead and click Login, and type them in here. If that worked, then you're good to go. If you need to access the file system in the database, either to add additional modules and themes, or to back up your files in your database, here's where to find both of those. So I'm going to jump back to the File Explorer. I'm going to go back to the computer. I'll click Opt. LAMP, and it's under Apps, Drupal, and then htdocs. So this is the base folder of Drupal here. Depending on what version of Drupal you're using, you'll put your modules and themes in different places. Now, if you find yourself locked out of these, and it seems like you don't have permission to add additional files, it could be that you're navigating the file system as something other than the super user. So again, you can open up a super user file navigator by typing in sudo nautilus in the terminal. And finally, if you need to access the database, you can go back to your local host and click PHP My Admin. Here you can see a database for Bitnami Drupal 8, and from here you can work with the database just as you would work with any other database. Now this is a great way to get a site up and running as fast as possible if you need to just dive in and do some learning. However, Bitnami is restricted to having only one version of an app at a time. So you can have one version of Drupal, one of WordPress, and so on. In order to add additional instances of Drupal, we'll need to take a different approach. And that's what we'll do next.